Good morning everyone. Welcome to the English class. Today, let's learn a beautiful poem which shows the imaginary adventures of the speaker. He's dreaming that he's going on a vacation up to a beautiful place and he's imagining all the adventures that he's going to do there. Let's enjoy the poem. All of you please take your English reader and turn to page number 31. Dream Holiday when I was on holiday, I went to Golapur. I climbed a snowy mountain and walked across a moor. So here, the poet is imagining that he's on a dream vacation. He's on a dream holiday. To where did he go? He is imagining that he has gone to Golapur. What all did he see there? He saw these beautiful snow-covered mountains there. And he's imagining that he climbed on top of these snowy mountains and walked across a moor. What is a moor? A moor means an open space of uncultivated land, maybe covered with grass or small plants. So he's imagining that he climbed these snowy mountains and walked across a moor. Now let's see the next stanza. I journeyed into forests and swam the widest sea. I played with white tigers and slept upon a tree. So he's imagining that he journeyed into forest, that he went inside deep forest to enjoy the serenity and the beauty of this place. And he's imagining that he swam the widest sea. He's imagining that he swam. Swam means the past tense of swim. He swam in a sea. And he also thinks that he played with white tigers. Have you seen white tigers? You can see the picture of white tigers here. He's imagining that he played with white tigers and when it became dark, when the night fell, he slept on the top of a tree. I floated on a cloud and reached the golden moon. I spoke with all the stars and came down at noon. Then he's imagining he's floating on a cloud. And on this cloud, he's going, he goes on and on and he reaches the golden moon, the beautiful full moon he sees there and he spoke with all the stars and came came down at noon he's imagining that floating on this cloud seeing the moon and the stars he's talking to these stars he kept talking to them till the next day the next noon and then he came back to the earth he's imagining all these in his dream I built myself a palace and settled down to rule, but my holiday is now over, so I am back again in school. So sometimes when you play around, you build these palaces. Just like you imagine you are a king and you have, uh, you have this palace and uh, you play with it, right? So just like that in his dream, he is imagining that he built a palace and he is the king there. And living in this palace, he's going to rule the country. So in his dream, in his dream about his dream holiday, dream vacation, he imagines that he built this palace, he, be the, he being the king, and he's going to live there to rule the place. But then what happened? But then he woke up from his dream and realized that he's back in his school after the vacation. So children, this was a poem that depicted the fantasy of the poet about going to a dream place. Maybe you also have such fantasies. Maybe about going to a place. Maybe about buying something. Or maybe about meeting someone. Everyone has fantasies. You can also write poems like this about your fantasies. Hope you enjoyed the poem. You can read it again. Now let's move on to some exercises from this chapter. All of you please turn to page number 32. The first set of exercise is to write whether the given sentence there is true or false. Let me read the question to you. Write T for true and F for false for these sentences. The speaker says that he or she climbed a snowy mountain. Is that true or false? Yes, the speaker says that he or she climbed a snowy mountain. So that sentence given there is true. So you have to write T for that sentence. Now question number two. Why tigers attacked the speaker? Is that true or false? No. 
it's false the poet imagined that he played with the white tigers and they did not attack him back so you have to write f for false there the speaker says he or she swam across a cloud is that true no it's false the speaker says he or she swam across the widest sea and fourth question the speaker spoke to the stars is it true or false yes it true it's true the speaker imagined that he was floating on a cloud and he spoke to the stars till the next noon so you can write t for true there question 5 the speaker reached the silver moon is it true or false no it's false the speaker reached the golden moon now the next set of exercise is about answering the questions so section b answer these questions question number 1 where did the speaker go for a holiday you may not doubt the answers in your english notebook we can uh, write the question there put the question number write the question there and not down the answers there let's see what is the answer to this question where did the speaker go for a holiday the speaker went to golapur for a holiday question number 2 list the three things that the speaker did before he or she played with white tigers so before playing with the white tigers what all things he or she did so the speaker climbed a snowy mountain walked across a moor and journeyed into forests now question number 3 what did the speaker do just before speaking to the stars what did the speaker do the speaker floated on a cloud and reached the golden moon a question number 4 what did the speaker do in order to settle down and rule to settle down and rule the speaker built himself or herself a palace question 5 do you think the speaker was happy to be back in school give a reason for your answer the speaker was not happy to be back in school because he or she had just built himself or herself a palace and had settled down to rule now let's see the next section it's vocabulary and it's about meanings in context question a fill in the blanks with the correct option from the brackets and you are asked to complete the sentences with the correct option given inside the brackets you are you are given two words as choices for each sentence you have to choose the correct option there let's see the questions one by one question number 1 ragni is dash than rohan is it smarter or big when you are using than you have to use smarter so the correct choice is ragni is smarter than rohan you can write the correct option in the space provided in the question now question number 2 koalas are the dash animals in australia is it most colorful or cute it is most colorful now question number 3 the test was dash is it easy or sharp the test was easy fourth one the minaret is dash than the skyscraper is it tall or higher it should be the minaret is higher than the sk skyscraper if you are using tall it should be the minaret is taller than skyscraper but you are given the choices tall and higher so you have to choose the option higher fifth one mr verma is dash than anyone else in the neighborhood is it richer or dusty mr verma is richer than anyone else in the neighborhood question 6 your dog runs dash than mine is it crazy or faster your dog runs faster than mine question 7 sonu's house is the dash in our village is it prettiest or short sonu's house is the prettiest in our village question 8 tanaya took the dash rope to tie the bag is it longest or wide tanaya took the longest rope to tie the bag 
Hope these questions are clear to you. Now the next section, circle the correct option. Is it I am taller or tallest than my brother? You have to use the option I am taller than my brother. Question 2. Charu is the kinder or kindest girl in class. You have to circle the correct option. So which is the correct option here? Charu is the kindest girl in class. She is the most kind girl. So it should be the kindest. Gold is more expensive or most expensive than silver. Which is the correct option? You are comparing two things. So you have to use gold is more expensive than silver. Fourth one, Raman is better or good at tennis than he is at football. Raman is better at tennis than he is at football. This is the worst or worst day of my life. This is the worst day of my life. It is the most interesting or more interesting game I have ever played. It is the most interesting game I have ever played. There is no other game that was more interesting than this. So this is the most interesting game I ever played. So children, I hope you are clear with these exercises. You can go through them again. We will see the rest of the exercises in the next class. Till then, bye.